There we go. Oh, I've locked it. There's one awning. That is... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Auto Alex V2 channel, and today we have Alex Hello. and Rory's Land Rover, which is quite the spectacle, isn't it? Before we get into it, yeah. Do you like this? Uh, I'm a Defender 90 man. I like the shorties. It's a bit. Correct me if I'm wrong. Birmingham. Is this video just to abuse Rory's Land Rover? No, no, no. It's to give an honest no, yeah. opinion uh, no, on don't, what don't we think. No taking the piss, because people will get angry and just take the piss and take the oh, piss. Oh, do Land Rover people get really oh, angry? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because this car is really shit. Also, this started life, I learned this about 30 seconds ago, as a pickup truck. Yes. Which is why there is a weld here. Yeah. So it used to actually, there used to be a sort of bulkhead here. And then this used to probably be quite a nice vehicle, but now... It's Birmingham. Birmingham. <laughs> Birmingham on wheels. <laughs> so before we actually get into it, how much is this car worth now, Rory? Roughly. Anywhere anywhere between 15 and 20. It's I'm quite a lot of money. I'm, I'm hearing 12 grand. How much Tw have you spent on it? How deep are you in? 33. <laughs> 33,000 <laughs> pounds. Wow. <laughs> so we've got some nice cladding here. That's very nice. I'm noticing side some corrosion. Step. Is this side step actually functional or is it? Oh, no. Ooh. <gasps> no, oh, I just sit. When you jump on that, this moves. Ah. So, oh. so the side steps are made for a 110, uh, a, a 110 station wagon. Yeah. And the bolts aren't there, so that oh. rear one is just resting. Ah. Oh. You should have told me that before I jumped on it, Rory. You've got nice big wheels and tyres, and they look quite fresh. There's a bit of bubble in here, Rory. That is just where the frame meets the thing. It's not actually that bad. So the body's come off the chassis? Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. So these are really cool. Did you have these done? Yeah, that was Maasai 110 windows. And how much are those? Yes. How much were the windows? I think it was two and a half grand. <sighs> and this is an awning? Yeah, that's an awning. So we don't know much about camping. Do we? No, but we would like to find out more and do so some camping. We are going to find out. We are going to camp right now. Are we? Yes. Let's be camp. Now? Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. You do, you do that end. <laughs> I'll do this end. Oh. And are we'll, we we'll just gonna... try and figure this out without any input from Rory. Oh, God. Oh. Right. So. Mine won't. Right. It, pretend it's raining. We've yeah. We've been doing lots of driving. Lots of leisure. There's so much leisure. Pops out. You, you keep going with that. Oh, shit. And then I've got some poles here. Oh. 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 Oh, it's quite long. Look. Look at this. And that goes there. How do you lock it? <laughs> Wait. Oh, OK. It's got legs. Yeah, I it's see. got legs. There we go. Oh, I've locked it. There's one awning. That is. <laughs> <laughs> You two are so shit. Rory, yeah. the ends come out. <laughs> come here, I need you as a tent peg. Back, back it up. <laughs> let me just let me just show the viewers what he's got. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do under here? Leisure and camping. Because if the wind sort of caught the rain, the rain would come here. So this is where usually we had two defenders and then one was parked there and then the other one would park here and then we'd put the awnings going like next to each other there. and then you'd have a double awning. So what you're saying is, is it's not really big enough unless you've got two defenders. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Shall we have a look inside? Oh yeah, let's have a look. Teak decking. Rory, did you do this? It's I, I, tall enough to stand up in. Did you do that? Yeah, can you tell? What about this? Yeah. That? Yeah. Rory, this? you never yeah. did this. Did you, you must, do this? You must have paid yeah. a man to do this. Such quality work. <laughs> I, I like the headliner. It is nice. This is Alicantra. Oh, that works. That's impressive. This is Alicantra, this headliner. You've done, did you do this, Rory? I did, yeah. <gasps> what, Rory's yourself? even done hinges. I did oh. hinges. Yeah. Oh, shit. You, you forgot the soft close. To be fair, though, it's quite solid, Rory. That is fair good. Play yeah. to you. Well done, Rory. Before we go into the uh, cabin, Shall we do more camping? Uh, I am doing this camping bit because you, you guys are wrecking. No, 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 we'll be careful. No, no, no. no, no we'll do you want careful. me to hold the camera? The camera. We'll, we'll be careful. Oh, that does not smell good. Um, I'm exiting. It smells like it's a bit mouldy in there. Does it, does it smell of sex? It does <laughs> smell of mouldy sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah? 
Oh! Yeah? This is quite Look nice. Let's go, girl. Yeah! yeah. You see what I mean about the length? You're lying the wrong way. You lie the other way. Why? But then your feet are against here. No, it gives you more room. Rory, my this... feet are sticking out of the end. No. Mine down. No. I'm trying. Go the other way. I'm trying. Go the other way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, just there's a bar there. I just clouted my head. Yeah, but then my feet are up against oh, it. You've got so much headroom. Look. <laughs> But then my head's out of it. Rory, just admit the tent is too small. Wait, let me, I'm, I'm a, an average sized human being. My head is sticking out the door. Yeah, but that's you lying completely like straight. If you yeah. want, you just, you, you go on your so side. Great. So, so you, you have, have to sleep at an angle. You have to sleep in the fetus business, both of you like that. <laughs> But it's okay because you only bought these from China to sell. We did. And, and we, you got rid of them all. And we sold all of them. <laughs> did you actually? We did, yeah. So if you find these uh, tents from Rory too small, then you can have a full refund. What's the email address? <laughs> <laughs> all right, fellas. I'm quite comfy up here. So what's going on with these seats, Rory? They're heated. Are they? Yeah. That's quite cool. And this steering wheel, is that also heated or is that just poor taste? <laughs> I like the steering wheel. Question, does it leak any oil? It's a Land Rover, that's stupid. <laughs> so this is a 300 TDI, isn't it? Yeah, so this, this is one of the engines that Land Rover did that will just run on anything. <coughs> it will just run all the time and you can fix it with a few screwdrivers and spanners. It is and, a very basic engine. And it will run underwater. Yeah. We could go camping in Fords. <laughs> Speaking of, should we find a Ford? What, a Fiesta or a Focus? Yeah, we'll just find a Fiesta. Okay. Yeah. Should we go for a drive? Yeah. All right. Before that though, a reminder from me that if you want to buy yourself a used car, van or motorbike, run a car vertical report on it first to ensure it's not being crashed, stolen or clocked. If we take a look at the car vertical report for Betty, the love of my life currently, you can see that we've got green ticks for finance and damage that tells me that this fantastic motor vehicle does not have a shady past. However, if we take a look at the car vertical report for this Maserati Spider, you can see that we've got green ticks for finance and damage, but then amber warning for odometer so if we scroll down a little bit you can see oh we've got a big rollback from 32,000 to oh, three no. three oh no 396 miles so you know then that if you wanted to buy this car as a low mileage example you know because of car vertical well that's a big fat lie isn't that right isn't it just, just like roger so again do yourselves a favor when buying a used car van or motorbike run a car vertical report on it first what's more to sweeten the deal you will get a massive 20 percent off using the code Auto Alex. No, it's oh, V2. Alex it's V2. Use the code V2. You ruined it. V2. Thanks. Back to it. I can't help but notice that there's a big gap at the bottom of that door and I can actually see the road. Yep. And secondly, I can't help but notice that I don't have a seat belt. Is this legal? <laughs> So, um, on a sideways facing seat, it's actually advised not to wear a seat belt because it can actually cause more damage. Uh, also, this actually came with a rear bench seat in with no seat belts. Um, oh, so, yeah. So it's perfectly legal. Yeah. Do you know what? I actually quite like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is actually quite fun. I just love how shit everything is. The steering wheel is so far off center. I want my hands to be here. Yeah. But they are over here. Yeah. And same with the pedals as well. I feel like I'm in my 911. Yeah, it's all right, this. It isn't actually as shit and old and agricultural and noisy as I was expecting. No, a lot of that is, I have spent a lot of money on soundproofing. Yes. I would say there there was a good two grand worth of soundproofing. Really? Oh, yeah. Me. yeah. So that everything, roof, uh, yeah, tunnel, all the floor, under the seats, everything has had dyno mat, then another layer of insulation. I do like how the car hits the bumps first and then that slowly gets transferred through the chassis <laughs> and then it goes through your seats. There's like three different stages of bump. There's initial, then there's midway and then there's, oh, okay, yeah, we're actually going over a bump. Everything feels so disconnected. It's brilliant. So what year is this? Or so what this... years is this? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a 1992. It's had quite a lot of work done over the years though. Um, I actually found the original owner um, from who who had this on their farm for pretty much all of its life. He works on defenders. He does them up and does does everything. So this was his first car that he properly had that he did all modifications and learnt his way around a defender on. He used to take this over to the UK all the time, 
and he so was towing UK. defenders back from the Scot Scotland. So oh. you would have this towing another defender back all the way back, and that was without the soundproofing. So you can imagine oh, how loud this was. It does drive pretty well, actually. I'll give you that. Does it feel sketchy in the back? Uh, no, it's actually all right. So the reason that I have this, and, and it's not just because I, I like a Chelsea track, but me and my mates used to regularly go up to Scotland and we used to wild camp. Literally just camp in the middle of but nowhere and yeah. uh, set up the roof tents and then just, just camp in these little things. It was bloody great. Literally nice. one of the best sort of car experiences I think you can have. Right, we're going to wind him up. Yeah. Are you ready, Taylor? Yeah. So this is the M50 now. Cool. Yeah, what are we at? 50. 60. Yeah. Indicated. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're losing him. 70. Oh. And for the purposes of this change. video, we are stopping at 70. Well, we actually are. Can't actually go faster. The one thing I wish I'd, I had may have waited for, I did kind of want the five door station wagon sort of one. Yeah. And I did want a TD5, but this was all I could afford at the time because I originally got this car. So although I have spent 33,000, I originally got the car for 6,000 pounds. Six grand? I Which mean... six grand for a 110 Defender with a galvanized chassis. Defender people will know that that is cheap. That is cheap. But you spent 33. No, no, on top of the buying. So 27 grand has gone into this. Yes. Yes. That is quite cool, Rory. Well done, Rory. But you are selling it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I thought so, you were selling it. No. So you're definitely keeping it. Um, this is a ditch, by the way. Oh, oh my god! You, you're, right. you're in a ditch. All right. Are we happy then? I'm happy. All right. All right. Well done, Rory. Well, there we have it. Although it's definitely not the most comfortable, practical, economical, or cheapest vehicle in the world, it can still put a smile on Alex's face. If you guys would like to see any of our other project cars or mowers, tell us in the comments below which one you'd like to see next.